It has been several years since the Harvard Business Review called Data Scientist the sexiest job of the 21st century. A lot has happened since then, hasn't it? New social media platforms, self-driving cars, apps for ride-sharing, food delivery, dating, and even face-to-face -face communication. And of course, 2020 happened, the year we all wanted to cancel, for a good reason. Forced to stay home, our lives became even more digital than they already were. The global pandemic hit hard and accelerated the transition to a world in which we work from home, meet colleagues over virtual coffee in Slack, and generate zettabytes of digital data, which is then analyzed by data scientists companies need to hire. As a result of these trends, leading companies became more data-driven than ever. So, if there's one thing that didn't change, it is certainly the demand for highly qualified data professionals. In this context, thousands of individuals around the world embarked on their journey to learn data science and become data scientists. And without a doubt, if we had to rank career paths based on their appeal at the end of 2021, data science would most definitely land among the top three. As every year, we conducted our annual research on 1001 data scientist LinkedIn profiles to define who the typical data scientist is and what their career path looks like. But before we start with the study, we'd like to announce our most exciting initiative to date. Starting on October 18th, we are bringing back the free for a month initiative at 365datascience.com. That's right, from the 18th of October until the 18th of November, you will be able to access our newly rebranded platform and all our courses completely for free. So make sure you save this date on your calendar. Okay, great, now let's get right into our main topic. The 1001 data scientist profiles we studied on LinkedIn. The numbers we obtained paint the following picture of the typical data scientist in 2021. A male who holds a master's degree and works comfortably with Python and SQL. Employed by a very large firm in the technology sector, he has 6.2 years of prior working experience and has been on the current job for about one year. The typical data scientist in 2021 is expected to stay on their current job for 1.7 years and has changed companies around two times in the last five years. Of course, we're aware that this is a generalization but it can be a useful one, as it gives us an idea about the profile of people working in the field. Let's examine the data in a bit more detail, shall we? This year, the ratio of men to women is even higher, 82% to 18% in 2021, compared to 71% to 29% in 2020, which is a bit disappointing considering that in recent years, companies have committed to diversify their workforce and recruit people from different backgrounds. What about degrees? As an education platform, we are frequently asked, do I need a university degree to get hired as a data scientist? The numbers clearly say, yes, you do. 97.2% of the individuals included in our study earned a university degree. However, we observe one interesting trend. The proportion of data scientists with a bachelor's degree grew from 12% in 2020 to almost 20% in 2021. And we're not surprised. With the ever-increasing access to online education platforms, including university courses offered online, companies will likely prioritize technical skills over formal qualifications, like master's and PhD, when selecting talent. Python's popularity in the data science field has continued to grow in 2021. Almost 85% of the data scientists in our cohort use Python. SQL is the other most popular tool, coming in at a very close second, 82%. A considerable number of users continue to use R, 64%, which over the last few years lost some ground to the syntax-friendly Python. Python, SQL, and R are the three most popular coding languages data scientists speak. Now let's shift our focus to a different aspect. Workforce mobility in the data science field is a topic that has not been studied in detail, as far as we are aware. The demand for skilled data scientists continues to be very high, and we wanted to explore whether this impacts how much time data scientists spend on the job before switching companies and starting new employment. 
The median time data scientists spend on the job is 1.7 years. In fact, more than half of the data scientists in our analysis, 56%, changed jobs two or more times in the past five years. Unfortunately, we don't have data that can allow us to compare such mobility with other similar professions. However, considering the amount of training and onboarding that is necessary to bring someone up to speed and get them to 100% productivity, the mobility that we see poses the question of whether this is efficient and effective for companies. Perhaps Netflix's strategy, shared by the firm's CEO in his book No Rules Rules, to overpay employees to keep them with the company for as long as possible is a viable one considering the costs involved with training a new person every 18 months or so. All right, that sums up the profile of the data scientist in 2021. If you found our research helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And if you want to become a certified data professional, don't forget that you can get a full month of free access to our comprehensive online data science program starting October 18th. So set a reminder. Thanks for watching and good luck.